What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for Lost by Lance Stewart. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know down in the comments below what are the songs that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing that you will know to play Lost on guitar is that in order to get rid of some bar chords and keep this as beginner friendly as possible, we're going to capo up to second fret. And if you don't have a capo, I'll have a link to get this capo for free right up here. The next thing you want to know for Lost is the structure of this song. We're going to start out with a chorus, then go to verse, then chorus, then verse again, and then we're gonna finish up with one last chorus. And the last thing you wanna know before we dive into Lost is the four chords that we need to play this song. The first one is G. The next one is D over F sharp. The next one is E minor. And the last one is C add nine. And I'll have chord charts for all of those in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind, guys, let's dive into Lost. Okay, so Lost is actually a great song for beginner guitarists to learn because all of the pieces for this song are actually very common. So all of the chord progressions, strum pattern, and picking patterns that we're using for this song are very common in other beginner guitar songs. So if you can learn them for this song, you'll be able to apply them to a lot of other songs, which is really handy and you'll already kind of have it practiced a little bit and stuff like that. It just makes it, it's kind of a good starting place if this is your first song to learn. So with all that in mind, let's dive into this song. We're gonna have one chord progression that's gonna repeat through literally the whole entire song. That chord progression is gonna be G, D over F sharp, E minor, and C. In that order, repeated through the entire song. Now, the first thing that we hear in the song is a chorus, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing for that. We're gonna have two strum patterns for chorus. You'll notice that some of those chords have a star next to them, and that has to do with what we're doing for strum pattern. So, for the chords that are not stars, so the G and the E minor, we're gonna play down, down. Just spaced out, just about like that. And then for the chords that are starred, we're gonna have up, down, up, down, 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 up. Just like that. So, a little walkthrough of that. We've got G, we're gonna start here. We're gonna go down, down, D over F sharp. Up, down, up, down, 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 up. And then we go to E minor, down, down. And then C add nine, up, down, up, down, 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 up. Just like that, and we're just gonna repeat that several times for each one of our choruses, just like that. So guys, a couple of times all the way through that chorus, chord progression and strum pattern will look about like this. And from there, guys, the only other thing that we need to know to play Lost is the verses. For the verses, we're going to have the same chord progression, G, D over F sharp, E minor, and C add 9. We're just going to repeat that over and over again, like I said, through the whole song. Now, where the verses are a little bit different from the chorus is that we're using a picking pattern instead. And the point of using a picking pattern, the reason we're doing a picking pattern for the verses, is because there's this very pretty piano part that plays in the background of the verses. It actually plays through most of the song, but you really hear it on the verses. So what we're going to try to do is mimic that. So before we dive into that picking pattern, we need to talk about what bass notes are. If you don't know what a bass note is, it's just the lowest note of whatever chord you're playing. So for this song, the lowest note of each chord that we're playing, for your G, that's going to be on your low E, for your E minor, that's going to be on your low E as well, for your D over F sharp, that's also going to be on your low E, and then for your C add 9, that's going to be on your A string. So just keep all of those in mind because we're going to be using bass notes throughout this picking pattern. So with that in mind, our picking pattern is going to be this for each chord. We're going to go bass note, G, B, high E, and then B, G, B, just like that. So one more time through that, we have bass note, G, B, high E, and then B, G, B for each chord. So what that'll look like for each chord walking through, we've got for G, low E, G, B, E, B, G, B. We go to our D over F sharp, again, low E, G, B, E, B, G, B, go to our E minor, we've got low E, G, B, E, B, G, B, and we go to our C finally, and that's gonna be A, G, B, E, B, G, B. 
And that is it, guys. That's just going to repeat over and over again throughout our verses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through that very slowly so you can see exactly what's going on without me talking. And I'm going to go through it a couple of times full speed so you can match it up with the speed of the song. So slowly first will look about like this. And guys, a couple of times full speed through the picking pattern that will repeat through the verses on Lost will look about like this. And guys, that is everything that you need to know to play Lost on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 680 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see what song I'm jamming on today or pictures of my dog, you can hit up my Instagram story at the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below. Guys, Lost is actually a great song for beginner guitar guitarists to learn because like I said even though there isn't a lot of actual guitar in this song the chord progression we're using the strum patterns and the picking pattern that we're using in this song are all very very common you'll see them a lot in a lot of today's modern music especially that chord progression is very very common I would venture to say one of the most common chord progressions is that G D E minor C is very common it's probably one of the first chord progressions you should learn or you might have already learned and so this is a great song because it kind of combines all of that stuff and then kind of sets a good stage for future songs that you might want to learn. I really don't know a lot about this song. I know that this dude is a YouTuber and I love supporting fellow YouTubers, but there's a lot of people I saw in the video that were saying like, is this a joke or what? The song to me actually doesn't sound like a joke. It actually sounds like a, it's, it's a decent, I'm not a huge fan of the song, but it's a decent song. It's fairly well written and stuff as a kind of catchy pop type of song. Um, but there was a lot of people that saw the video and the video's pretty cheesy and there were people saying like is this a joke is this a meme whatever it might be and uh, I don't know for sure I don't know a lot about it whether it's a serious thing or not or if it was meant to be kind of a funny thing or not um, but either way I saw that it got really popular and I was like you know what I bet you there is some people that want to learn this song on guitar so I thought I'd make a lesson for it on you guys and like I said this is one of those songs that it's just got a lot of good elements for beginners in there to kind of learn the basics um, just to kind of learn and set the stage again for other songs in the future that you might want to learn. So anyways, guys, I had a lot of fun learning this song. I hope you guys had a lot of fun learning it as well, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.